Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the 27th video in the series, and today we will create a program to see if a number is prime. We will first create a program to determine if a number that the user enters is prime. Then we will write code that will output a list of prime numbers. The timestamps are in the description below, so let's get started. I created a file called isprime.py and I'm going to ask the user to enter a number to see if it is prime. Prime numbers are only divisible by 1 in themselves. For example, 2, 3, 5, and 7 are all prime numbers. A prime number has to be greater than 1, so we'll do if num is greater than 1, then we're going to create a for loop for i in range starting at 2 and then up until the number. If num mod i has a remainder equal to 0, we know it's not a prime number. So we can put num and convert that into a string, and then do is not a prime number. And then once we know it's not a prime number, we want to break out of this, since we already know it's not prime. Otherwise, if we go through the whole for loop and the number doesn't divide into anything, then we know it must be a prime number. So we can do else, and then we can print that the number is a prime number. And we also want to have an else statement at the end, in case num is less than or equal to 1, and we'll just print, you must enter a number greater than 1. And when we run this, it's going to ask us to enter a number, let's say 5, which is a prime number. When we run this, it says 5 is a prime number, so it works. I'm going to run it again, and let's enter a number that's not prime. So we'll enter 6, and 6 is not a prime number. So this works. Now let's create a list of a set of prime numbers. Since the first prime number is equal to 2, I'm going to create a list called prime numbers, and it's currently going to have one value, just 2. And then I'm going to set num equal to 3, and then while num is less than 100, we're going to use the for loop like we did before, for i in range to common number. If num mod i is equal to 0, we're going to break like before because it's not a prime number. Else if i is equal to num minus 1. So that's when it's at the end of the for loop and it hasn't broken yet. That must mean that it's a prime number. So we can do prime numbers dot append, and we'll just append the number to the list. And then we want to add one to num, so it goes through the entire while loop and checks to see if all the numbers from 3 to 100 are prime. And then once the while loop is finished, we can print the prime number list, and this will output the numbers that are prime from 2 to 100. So we run this, and it will work. And there are your numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, all the way to 97. And if we wanted to see all the numbers up to 1,000 that were prime, we could do it by just adding a zero at the end. And now we'll run it again. And those are all the prime numbers up to 1,000. So this is great, but a problem with this is that it takes a long time to run. We're going to solve this in the next segment of the video. I created a file called fasterprimelist.py and pasted the code from before. A problem with this code is that it checks every number. For example, when the number is equal to 900 and something, it's going to go through this for loop 900 times, which is a lot. So this will take a long time just to find one prime number. So instead of going through the range to common number, we can go through the range of prime numbers instead. And then if prime numbers i is equal to 0, we'll break like before. And then else if prime numbers i is equal to prime numbers, the last index, which is the length of prime numbers minus 1, we can then append num. So this will run much quicker than before because it won't go through every single number, it will just go through the prime numbers when checking to see if another number is prime. So now let's run this, and it works the same as before, but it's faster. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.